everyone, this is Hannah, and guess what? We are now giving it another go at overwintering Polyphemus moth cocoons. So far, we only have one cocoon, and it seems to be a healthy one. We had actually found two cocoons, but unfortunately, the second one had been paralyzed. The cocoon was extremely light and had a small hole on the top. If you shook it, it felt as if light pieces were shaking inside, and that all was not a good sign. It was an indicator that an insect called a parasitic wasp had attacked and laid its eggs inside. Then, the adult emerged from the cocoon. Not the adult moth, but the adult wasp chewing its way out of the cocoon and exiting through the small hole. The cocoon that currently remains in the jar was found in an oak tree. It was on a very low branch and was not that hard to get from the tree. So, I took the cocoon and brought it home. The next day, I removed all the leaves that were surrounding the cocoon. While removing the leaves, I found something interesting. Two dead beetles, one of which had mold growing on it. To make sure the cocoon was safe, I removed both of the dead beetles, then cut a very small hole in the cocoon, just big enough for me to peek inside and make sure the cocoon was healthy. And once I realized it was healthy, I put it in the jar. Hopefully, we can find more healthy cocoons, and hopefully we get to them before the parasites do. I'm also hoping that we might be able to have some Luna Moth cocoons too this year, although I'm not that sure about how it's going to work out because it's been kind of hard to find the right place that's selling the cocoons. And we did find some really good places out there that are selling Luna Moth cocoons. But most of them are just out of stock, and a few of them were just not shipping the cocoons to our area. So I'm still going to keep searching, and I'm really hoping that we just stumble across the perfect place and that we can get Luna Moth cocoons. But I'm still not sure if the Luna Moth cocoons would hatch around the same time the Polyphemus Moth cocoons hatch, because we don't know the exact date that the caterpillars actually spun their cocoons. So I'm just going to see how this turns out and keep searching to see if I can find the perfect place. So for now, I'm just going to keep caring for my lone Polyphemus moth cocoon, and I'm going to keep looking for more. And I'm also still hoping about those Luna moth cocoons, which I hope that we can get soon. Bye everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time.